Right now, hundreds are paying their respects to Reverend Clay Evans. The pastor founded Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church and was a well-known civil rights leader. He worked closely with Dr. Martin Luther King. NBC 5's Charlie Wojciechowski is live with how he's being remembered. Charlie. Well, Patrick, he not only founded the church behind me, but he also helped found Operation Push with the Reverend Jesse Jackson. He touched so many lives here in Chicago. Today, many of those people are coming by to say their last respects. Of course, there is a sadness inside the Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church, but there is also a sense of celebration. While the faithful line up outside to pay their respects, Pastor Jimmy Rogers made the trip from Akron, Ohio, to say goodbye to his mentor, the Reverend Dr. Clay Evans. His message was a message of freedom and hope, of liberty and light, and just the things that he did for the civil rights movement. When people were to crush him and tell him he couldn't do it, God gave him an ability to open up doors. Evans built this Southside church in the 1970s, enduring a seven-year pause forced by the city's refusal to grant permits because of his support for Dr. Martin Luther King. He's a legend, an icon. You can't talk about the city of Chicago without talking about Reverend Clay Evans. Evans' faith touched his flock, as did his pioneering gospel music. Uh, Reverend Evans has inspired me through his music, through his sermons, uh, ever since I was nine years old. When the first song I heard him sing was Reach Beyond the Break. The tributes will come later, but this afternoon is for those who love the pastor, like his longtime deacon, Johnny Johnson. He has been an inspiration to my life, gave me such great opportunities, and being a, a father figure in my life. The visitation underway right now has been going on since noon. Starting at 7 o'clock this evening, there will be a civic and governmental celebration. A number of speakers are planned, including Governor Pritzker. The final memorial for Mr. Evans will be tomorrow. Reporting live from the Fuller Park neighborhood, Charlie Fortune Husky, NBC5 News. Marion, back to you.